New at 6, the city of San Antonio says it continues to work closely with nonprofits to welcome and assist migrants coming through the city as they head to their final destination. 100 to 500 migrants are arriving daily at the airport. The food bank is looking for volunteers who speak different languages to help the migrants. Tiffany Huerta says more on that and the story of an Ecuadorian woman who made a dangerous trek to the United States. Alexandra says traveling through Mexico was dangerous. There were kidnappings, robberies and scams. The single mother traveled from Ecuador to Mexico in plane and then crossed into the U.S. looking for a better life. Alexandra says she is sad that she left her family behind, but is happy because she is in the country of opportunities. She is one of hundreds of migrants arriving daily at the airport. A city spokesperson tells us when migrants arrive, they are provided with basic needs and travel assistance with the help of city employees and volunteers. One of the organizations the city is working with is the San Antonio Food Bank. The food bank's been providing meals and kind of hygiene kits and um, you know different snack items, things that can be helpful in their journey. President of the food bank, Eric Cooper, says they are looking for volunteers who can assist migrants and speak different languages. We are responding to diverse populations that are coming through. But this isn't the first time the food bank has helped migrants arriving to San Antonio. Several years ago, there was a surge of migrants um, downtown across from the bus station. Uh, the Migrant Resource Center was established and the food bank was there. There are three shifts daily volunteers can sign up for on the food bank's website. Cooper says volunteers must wear masks and they are encouraged to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Lots of people have reached out to me to say, it's heartbreaking to see what's happening with the migrants and we want to do something to help. My plan is... As for Alexandra, she wants to build a better life for her family. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.